Welcome to Electron Online. Well, we already have a few examples of pulleys on our, on our channel, but I thought, well, there's all kinds of different combinations that will make it very challenging unless I add some additional examples. So we thought, let's add a few additional examples of different pulley systems to see how to determine what the force needs to be in order to lift up an object, or at least to keep it in place, and what is the mechanical advantage. Well, the mechanical advantage is the ratio of how much weight you can lift versus how much force you have to pull with. So if you only need to pull with a force of 50 pounds, or 50 newtons, I should say, because I use newtons here and the weight of the optics is 100 newtons, that gives you a 2 to 1 mechanical advantage. All right, so how do you figure this out? Well, first of all, we have to assume that none of the pulleys have mass or they don't have friction as well. So there's no forces necessary to make the pulleys turn around. So this is an ideal situation. And if that's the case, we know that the tension on both sides of this pulley must be the same. So if we call the tension on this string right here T, that means the tension on the other side must be T as well. Now the, another condition we need to keep in mind is either we have it static, we don't make it move at all, or we move it at a constant speed. There's no acceleration uh, necessary or, or no acceleration involved, and so the amount of force required to lift it up at a constant speed is equal to the amount of force required just to hold it in place. So in either case it would be the same. So we can see that tension would be the same on both sides here. Now we'll follow the string over here, and we can see that around here, the tension here must also be tension, T, and the tension on the other side must be the same because it just goes around this pulley. Then we come around here, so we have the tension T on this side, that means we have tension T on the other side, that must be the same again. Come around here, we have the tension T here, and that must be the same as the tension T. And we'll come up here, the tension T here must be equal to the tension T. So we can see that the tension everywhere on this string is exactly the same. It is T, whatever T is. And of course, we know that in this case, the force must equal the tension on the string right here. All right, so how do we now determine what the tension is? Well, we draw a free body diagram. We're going to draw it through here and come down here and through here. So that means that we have a force pulling down this way and we have five forces pulling this way. So relative to what's in here inside the free body diagram relative to these two pulleys all the strings are pulling upward. That means that the force pulling up must equal the force pulling down because it's a static situation so we can say that the sum of the forces in the y direction must add up to zero and so that means we have five times the tension pulling up, so five times T in the positive direction minus 100 newtons in the negative direction must add up to zero, which means that 5T must equal to 100 newtons. That means T is equal to 20 newtons. And if T is equal to 20 newtons, that means the force required to hold up that 100 newton weight is 20 newtons, or the force required to pull it up at a constant speed is indeed 20 newtons and the mechanical advantage therefore is 5 to 1. In other words we only need one-fifth the force to lift up the 100 newton force and so that's what we call mechanical advantage and in this case we need 20 newtons to lift up a 100 newton weight and that is how it's done. 